Next up is Hickory Dickory Dock. Yeah, apparently. So yeah, the first scene is a scene where a bunch of voice trumpets appear and make TikTok noises. Uh, an interesting thing is that uh, the shot of the voice trumpets is shot from the same angle as when they say time for Teletubbies during the theme song. Yeah, I remember when I first saw the scene, and I was actually freaked out by that. This was one of the last normal appearances of the original windmill clip uh, that usually shows up during the intro. I mean, it would still show up every once in a while, but not too often. But yeah. In the TV event, Tinky Winky is chosen, and uh, they use a different audio a second time. So yeah, this one was the weirdest one out of the King Pleasure and the Biscuit Boys TV events. Because in the other ones, they were outdoors. This time, they're inside some building. But yeah, uh, the, this is probably my favorite one of the TV events. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. When the cat came out, the mouse ran up the clock. When the cat came up, the mouse ran up the clock. I don't know the rest of the song, but yeah. There's actually a video on YouTube of them performing that at a live show. It's true, look it up. It's pretty interesting. And this was one of the last times uh, it'll show the clip of the baby son screaming uh, after a TV event. Even though some episodes would show the clip of her giggling, uh, but screaming... Uh, as well, practically. Like, the last, but they would still show, uh, the baby son screaming while giggling. And then, uh, uh, the, uh, scene where Poe and Tiki Winky are playing Hickory Dickory Dock. You would not believe how many times Tiki Winky goes up the clock and stuff. Like, every time they say the clock struck one, uh, he's, like, going up the slide, and the mouse ran down, and he's going down. Yeah, the interesting thing is that on the Nursery Rhymes video, when the scene was shown, uh, uh, like, uh, the part where Poe was just playing by herself was cut, which I never noticed that when I watched the original UK version of this episode. But, yeah, actually, on the Nursery Rhymes video, they show literally the entire, uh, episode Including the magical event that appears at the end of the episode. Yeah, but the magical event was moved to earlier on in the video. But yeah. Uh, but yeah. Here, like, the Tinky Winky and Poe see the zoomed out window windmill clip. And they run out the door and they watch the magic tree. And then the windmill stops spinning. Instead of the magic tree, they do the dancing bear dancing once. Which, yeah. Lala's the missing teletub, I mean, Poe's the boo shouter. Uh, but yeah. Uh, number six. Uh, this one is a weird episode. But yeah. First off is a different uh, type of scene where the teletubs are popping up from behind the hill. But yeah. I mean, it's an okay scene. But yeah. Pretty interesting. I just love this part... Where, like, Dipsy's just skipping uh, as he runs off to watch a TV event. He's just skipping, like, all happily and stuff. I mean, that's kind of weird. But, yeah. And speaking of, Dipsy's chosen for a TV event, and they use different audio second time. And, uh, uh, yeah, and the kids are learning about the number six. Actually, first of all, they keep skipping numbers. They do the numbers episodes so out of order, to be honest. Did you ever notice that? I I don't think I ever noticed that. Actually, when I was little, I think I only saw like two numbers episodes. Number six and numbers two. But I'll talk about those another day. And then the son screams while she's giggling once again. And then this classic scene. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, and Lala... Uh, come to the house, and their knees are all dirty. Six dirty knees. Six dirty knees. Six dirty knees, wash them clean. Yeah, apparently. How would they got dirty? I don't know. 
but apparently, like, uh, the, apparently on Teletubbies the album, uh, which was a CD soundtrack that had this, uh, that came after the three ships. I guess they got it from, like, the three ships. I guess the water made the dirt all muddy and stuff. Oh, my stomach. Why does it hurt so badly? Yeah, this is the first appearances, I think, of the Tubby Sponges, apparently. I don't know, was it this episode or, like, a different episode? I forget. Yeah, the Tubby Sponges, what they use to clean themselves, they don't really use them that often, though. Uh, but, yeah. I was actually kind of confused when I first saw an episode uh, where they started using them. This isn't the episode, but we'll talk about that another time. So yeah, they wash themselves. I don't get why they couldn't have the Nunu washing them, but yeah. I mean, the Nunu usually tidies up stuff, but yeah, apparently. And then Poe comes in, and she's dirty all over herself, so they, like, chase her with the naughty Nunu theme playing, and yeah. And they, yeah. And then, like, they see the zoomed-out window windmill clip as it plays the stop-spinning sound, and, uh, uh, they say, uh oh and put away the tubby sponges, and the episode ends. Yes, this is another episode where the windmill stops spinning off-screen. Which, yeah. In the Sunday special version, however, uh, ironically, they actually do watch the three ships, and then the windmill does stop spinning on-screen. At least that's why I heard. Or why I think, maybe. Lala's the missing Teletubby and Poe's the boo shouter once again. But yeah. Uh, Wake Up. This one's an actually uh, interesting one. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, the opening scene is a scene where the Teletubbies are standing on a hill saying their names in a different order each time. Interestingly enough, the windmill's on screen throughout most of the scene, and the last part where they uh, say their names final time, like it's not on screen anymore. Like, I don't get why that happens. They use a field shot as an opening shot, and just a field shot. When the TV event begins, when it shows the windmill spinning uh, for TV event, uh, there's this loud bird sound playing. And Poe's chosen, they use different audio. Yeah, the Alex Pascal is singing a song called Wake Up. Wake up, wake up, sleepyhead. Wake up. This was the first TV event I saw with him in it. And yeah, this one's probably one of my favorites. And Sun screams while she's giggling again. And then the magical event just starts right away. Yeah, the magical event tune is all jumbled up and big mess and stuff. And, uh, uh, it's the top right window version of the Magic House, which... Was that the one that's, like, the second scariest one? Yeah, it's, like, the second scariest one, in my opinion. Oh, my God. But, yeah. Uh, and then after that, the camera fades to an opening shot for the next segment. But, yeah. Uh, There's this weird scene. I don't get what's going on. Like, the Teletubbies just keep waking up and then falling asleep. It's kind of like a continuation of the opening scene, where they're waking up and falling asleep in a different order and stuff. Like, I don't get it. Like, this was just one of the weirdest scenes ever. Yeah, when, every, when everyone started falling asleep one by one, I thought they got, like, food poisoning or something. But, yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. This was actually the last appearance, uh, like, official appearance of the original Teletubbies costumes, and the last time Dave Thompson, uh, performed Tinky Winky, as this, uh, scene was probably filmed much earlier on in the series. But, yeah, Tinky Winky is the missing Teletubby, and Lala's the boo shouter. Next up is Sophie Art Circus, apparently. Uh, next up is, uh, or the... The, the opening scene is just a weird scene. The Teletubbies go down the slide and they all fall down and stuff. I don't get this scene, to be honest. But, yeah. 
And then they see the zoomed in window windmill clip and they watch a TV event. Tinky Winky is chosen. And uh, uh, the audio is different the second time. Um, Sophie and those two kids from the Painting Swings TV event are here to draw pictures of a circus. And yeah, apparently. I've seen this TV event uh, on the uh, Favorite Games PC game. And for the longest time, I never realized this was an episode with a certain scene. Or should I say, certain event. But yeah. After that, the baby son giggling normally, like usually. But in some other languages, uh, she's actually silent uh, when she's heard giggling. At the same time she's heard giggling, part of the rabbit song starts playing. Yeah, in this episode they use a shortened version of the rabbit song. And then the windmill starts spinning with the first part of the magical vent tune. At the same time, uh, only part of the lion and bear uh, music uh, begins playing. Yeah. And also, the only the first part of the magical vent tune is heard in this episode. Like, why isn't the full tune heard? I don't know. But yeah. But yeah, they watch The Lion and Bear. But yeah. Yeah, it's The Lion and Bear, apparently. And The Lion and Bear is one of the weirdest, creepiest magical events ever. The way the segment ends is a bit weird. The Teletubbies see the start spinning windmill clip, which is a clip of the windmill spinning. That's usually a uh, shot from the that's shot from the same angle as the stop spinning windmill clip. At the same time, it is heard playing the stop spinning sound. They use the audio clip of the Teletubbies saying "Uh oh" from the theme song, and they run really slowly, just like in uh, a Dirty Dog. And then it shows the windmill spinning normally. I remember when I saw this in a, an old Chinese website. Uh, this ending was kind of cut short. Yeah, like, after they say, uh-oh, it just cuts to the baby son screaming. And then the episode ends. The voice trump is slightly delayed once again. Dipsy is the missing Teletubby and Tiki Week is the boo shouter. The Sunday special version, at least from what I've heard, is apparently, like, a later episode hand-painting. Like, all the segments other than the TV event are from hand-painting, but instead of the windmill stopping... They watch the animal parade with the elephant trumpet. Next up is Emily washing the pony. Uh, this one has an opening scene where Lala is wearing Dipsy's hat. It's one of the few times where one of the other Teletubbies is wearing his hat. And then Dipsy starts chasing her with the naughty Nunu theme, I think. That's what was playing. They see the zoomed-in window windmill clip. They watch a TV event. Lala's chosen different audio second time. Her antenna glows a few seconds earlier than usual. So yeah, Emily's washing her pony Chester. So yeah, the baby son giggles, screams, that's why I call it, apparently. And the Teletubbies have a tubby wash with the tubby sponges. Yeah, they're washing all around and stuff, apparently. I don't get why they need to be washed. I mean, there's no dirty knees this time. But yeah... And, uh, after that, the windmill, once again, like, like, the two episodes in a row, the windmill is seen spinning, but playing the stop spinning sound. They show the zoomed out windmill clip, and it plays the stop spinning sound, and they say, uh-oh, and pull away the sponges, and run off. But this time, unlike in number six, the windmill actually stops spinning normally. But, yeah. In the Sunday special version, I heard either one of these two possibilities could happen. Either a magical event could begin, I have no idea which one it is, maybe Animal Parade or, I don't know, Three Ships. Uh, either that or the Gymnastics TV event starts. Maybe the Gymnastics TV event starts because that what happened. Because something like that did happen on the Busy Day video, so yeah. Poe's the missing Teletubby and Lala's the boo shouter. Yeah, this time Poe's the missing Teletubby and Lala's the boo shouter. Um, but yeah, that's it for now.